good, YouTube? It's your girl, Kitty, and I'm back with another banger video for y'all. I'm bringing y'all my very first video of NBA 2K21. My very first 2K21 video. So you know we got to start it off right, and I have to give y'all the best guard build in the game. This is going to be one of the top of the line guard builds. I kid you not. All right. Now, before we get into all of that, you see my social medias at the bottom of the screen. You see the sub count at the top. We got to run them numbers up. So if you are new to the channel, you got to hit that sub button and you got to turn on those post notifications and you got to leave a big fat like on this video. But make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. All right, you see them at the bottom of the screen just so you can stay connected with me. And you got to make sure you follow me on Twitch. I live stream on Twitch at it's kid underscore. If you ever want a chance to run with me, you just want to kick it with me in the live stream, you got to be following me on Twitch and you got to be active in the chat, man. All right. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right. So we are about to create the best playmaking shot creator in NBA 2K21. All right. First thing first, of course, we're going to make it a point guard. And then you can make your player left or right handed. It's really up to you. You can choose whichever jersey number that you would like. Okay, so as far as these pie charts, 2K tried to be a little slick. They tried to add in some new pie charts. So be very aware that we do have a few new pie charts, all right? So be careful when you're picking your pie charts. And if you're trying to make the exact same build as you, try, as you had in 2K20, and eh, bad news they kind of tweaked and nerfed the attributes so you probably won't be able to make your build the exact same as you had in 2k20 but you could probably make it fairly close all right so for the pie chart that we're going to use for this play shot is this one right here this is one of the new pie charts all right this is one of the new pie charts as you can see it has a little bit more shooting than playmaking all right that's one of the new pie charts that's what we're going to go with for this build for the physical profile we're going to choose the chart with the most speed that's the very that's the first one and as far as these attributes pay very close attention to what i upgrade and what i don't upgrade okay so for the close shot we're gonna go with a 75 But the driving layup, I really don't touch. It's already at 51. This is not a finishing build, all right? This is not a finishing build. For the driving dunk, we're just going to get that up to like a 42. It's not a finishing build. So I don't advise making this build if you're scared to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Don't make no shooting build if you're scared to shoot the ball and you just want to rim run all day. This is not that type of build. This build is going to be a demon from the three-point, okay? As you know shooting is very popular in 2k games all right people are going to be daily from the three point and you want to be daily from the three point this is the build for you all right this is the perfect shooting and dribbling build for the shooting attributes we're going to max out our mid-range and our three point and we're going to leave our free throw at an 87 and we're also going to max out the shooting I mean the post fade. I'm sorry. We're going to max out the post fade. And that gives us 26 shooting badges, all right? And for the pass accuracy, we're going to max that out. And, of course, we're going to max out our ball handle. So we get 18 playmaking, okay? And so for the defense, we're going to go with a 45 interior defense. Our perimeter defense, we're going to get that to a 74. Lateral quickness, max that out to a 73. We're going to get a 78 steal. A 49 block. And we're going to get our offensive rebound to a 51. And then the rest, and then we're going to max out our defensive rebound. At a 63 and we have three more attributes left over and we can get our post moves to a 41 and that gives us one more 
playmaking badge all right so this is what our badge setup setup looks like for this playmaking shot creator we got one finishing badge 26 shooting 19 playmaking and eight defensive badges that's scary right there it's already scary all right so for the body shape they got pretty much the same body shapes uh, for this build, I'll probably just go with solid. Now, for the height. This is where things get interesting. The fault height this year is 6'3". Max height you can go on point guards this year is 6'8". But we're not gonna. We're not getting too crazy right off the bat. We're not getting too crazy here, okay? So, for the height, we're gonna go with 6'5". Six 6'5 five. Six five is a decent safe height you don't want to be too short don't want to be too tall and for the weight we're gonna go ahead and lower our weight all the way down and for the wingspan you can either lower your wingspan all the way if you, of course, you know if you max out your wingspan this year. This year is something different. If you increase your wingspan, that helps that boost up your driving, that boosts up your finishing at, uh, abilities. That that that's something new. That didn't, it didn't used to do that in 2K20, but you know, still affects your your shooting and your ball handle. But it also helps with your defense. All right. So for the wingspan, I believe we're gonna leave it right here. It's 79. Seven. 79.7 that looks good so remember we have one finishing badge 26 shooting 19 playmaking eight defensive badges at 6.5 79.7 wingspan and we also get the 87 speed and the 86 acceleration now this is just off rip if you consider the fact that if 2K still gives you the plus four attributes at 99 overall, at 99 overall, this build will be able to speed boost. You'll get that 86 ball control. you get that 86 ball handle. And hooey. That's going to be something serious there. Now, here are the takeovers. You can choose between the sharpshooter takeover, the shot creator takeover, and if you would like, the playmaking takeover. Of course, you get to choose the playmaking takeover if once you're in takeover, you like to drop people on the ground. You're trying to break you some ankles, get you those highlight clips, and then go for the playmaking. For the shot creator, you know, if you do a lot of spin shots or you can still break people's ankles off of shot creator moves and things like that you still get a little boost to your shooting and if you're trying to be a sniper from the three-point hit those crazy shots and get those jump shot celebrations unlocked choose the sharpshooter take over but that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it that is the play shot creator build and if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts of the 2K21 demo. Let me know of your expectations for 2K21 or what builds you guys are thinking about making. But like I said, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been real. I'm out.